Hello, everyone. Welcome to Issues in Japan. This time also, I would like to share with you some valuable information on a hot topic. The outbreak of COVID 19 was first identified in China in January 2020, spreading to Europe from late February and ultimately worldwide. The number of confirmed new cases continued to increase with large fluctuations across countries and regions. Since the beginning of 2021, however, developments in such figures appear to have become somewhat polarized. That is, in countries where vaccinations are steadily progressing, such as the United States, the United Kingdom, and Israel. The number of cases peaked out and has turned toward a downtrend. On the other hand, in emerging economies, which are falling behind in vaccinations, the number of cases has remained at a high level. Partly affected by new variants. In Japan, as the number of cases has been increasing again since early spring 2021, mainly in major metropolitan areas, the government declared a state of emergency for the third time. Japan's economy has been on a recovery trend, led mainly by external demand, on the back of rapid economic recovery, particularly in the United States and China. This trend is characterized by increases in demand in the machinery industry, where Japanese firms have a competitive advantage, and the IT sector, both reflecting the growing momentum toward a global expansion in business fixed investment. Looking at Japan's exports by type of goods, it can be confirmed that those of IT related goods and capital goods have increased clearly of late. That said, it is not only the manufacturing industry that has seen an improving trend in business conditions. Among domestic demand oriented firms in the non manufacturing industry, Business conditions of retailers, which provide goods, have been generally firm despite temporary store closures and other restrictions. Supported by stay at home consumption by households that have lost opportunities for going out due to the spread of COVID 19. Some retailers have discovered the business opportunity of expanding online sales channels and started to make active investment in e commerce. Which is one of the factors underpinning business fixed investment in Japan. Furthermore, even in the face to face services industry, which has been placed in a severe situation during the pandemic, some firms that are motivated to provide high end and high value added services have yielded added value by implementing thorough infection control and captured growing demand from customers. The impact of the spread of COVID 19 varies significantly depending on business attributes, and the pace of recovery differs as well. This situation is also observed in other major economies. Since the outbreak of COVID 19, the government and the Bank of Japan have been working in coordination and implementing various measures to underpin Japan's economy. As a result of these measures, A tightening of firms' funding conditions has been averted, and the environment for external funding, such as bank borrowing and the issuance of CP and corporate bonds, has remained accommodative. The numbers of corporate bankruptcies and discontinued businesses have also been at extremely low levels. It was noted that the first priority was to support corporate financing and that the Bank of Japan should actively provide liquidity. At the monetary policy meetings held in April and May 2020, the Bank of Japan swiftly set out a strengthening of liquidity provision measures with a view to supporting corporate financing. Such policy responses, coupled with the government's economic measures, have been effective in preventing a further pandemic driven deterioration of Japan's economy. Economic activity at home and abroad has continued on an improving trend so far. There remain extremely high uncertainties regarding the outlook. The following three uncertainties may be pointed out. The first concerns the pace of progress with vaccinations in Japan. Unless considerable progress is made and the overall society succeeds in achieving herd immunity, 
there is concern that economic activity may be constrained in the face-to-face -face services industry, such as eating and drinking as well as accommodations, every time COVID-19 cases resurge, and that this could delay the industry's recovery. Repeating this situation will make it difficult to envisage sustainable improvement in consumer sentiment. It is an important factor when envisioning sustainable economic recovery. In relation to this, services consumption in the United States, which almost inevitably was suppressed from last year, has started to recover rapidly, mainly supported by an acceleration in vaccinations and large-scale economic measures. Such quick recovery in consumption is similar to the rapid expansion seen in the country at the time of the transitional period after World War II. Demand for consumption of durable goods and services, which had been restrained during the war, was unleashed upon its end. As for the current COVID-19 crisis, attention is warranted on whether a decline in the number of confirmed cases resulted from vaccinations would unleash the suppressed demand. It may be believed that if consumption expands rapidly and significantly in Japan as in the United States post-war, this may provide a great opportunity to resolve Japan's protracted deflation. The second uncertainty involves developments in global financial markets, particularly the U.S. stock market. In global financial markets, market sentiment has continued on an improving trend and prices of risk assets such as stocks have risen, due to heightened expectations for a recovery in the global economy. Mainly on the back of progress with vaccinations and the additional economic measures taken in some advanced economies. U.S. consumption has started to recover rapidly. However, it is necessary to bear in mind the potential impact on the U.S. stock market of a shift in the flow of funds from one that likely had been into that market to one into markets for goods and services. This is because there is a risk that such market developments may affect the U.S. real economy and in turn Japan's external demand, which has been underpinning its economic recovery. The third uncertainty concerns geoeconomical risks. The term geoeconomical may be well used rather than geopolitical. It may be viewed that, in recent international affairs, diplomatic and security policies and economic policies tend to be discussed in a more integrated manner. In general, geopolitics take into account diplomatic and security policies. Geoeconomics equally incorporate economic policies. Taking U.S.-China relations as an example, while various discussions may be held on such topics as transferring technology and capital across borders, attention is warranted on how the course of these discussions will potentially affect corporate activities and trade in Japan, among other factors. It may be believed that uncertainties surrounding domestic and overseas economies remain extremely high and it is necessary to assess the outlook without preconception. In the face of such uncertainties, one of the Bank of Japan's policy challenges for the time being may be the treatment of the special program to support financing in response to the COVID-19 for which the duration at present is until end September 2021. The environment surrounding corporate financing has generally remained stable so far, including the situation regarding bankruptcies of firms, and industries strongly affected by the spread of COVID-19 appear to be becoming limited. In fact, the issue with corporate financing is shifting from liquidity to solvency. Accordingly, the funding needs of some firms have begun to shift from borrowing to securing capital funds. These developments suggest that the environment surrounding the special program is changing. At the same time, it is difficult to envisage a clear recovery in face-to-face -face services consumption until herd immunity is achieved through widespread vaccinations. Thus, as long as COVID-19 cases resurge repeatedly, we cannot rule out the possibility of firms having funding difficulties. 
taking into account such environmental changes surrounding corporate financing. The Bank of Japan may need to deepen discussions on the treatment of the special program from this October onward by carefully monitoring future developments in corporate financing. That's all for this time. Thank you for watching.